Good morning, guys. It's Kay, the Organized Soprano here. I'm a professional organizer. We talk about all things domestic and dog here. And today is another cleaning video. Today, uh, I have got to clean something that I just noticed the other day that I've actually never cleaned. So this is our fabulous condo, if this is your first time watching my channel. And we've lived here for two and a half years. This little guy lives here too. He's tired from the park. Are you tired? You should be. We played real hard. We played real hard at the park. Yeah. So in living here, I love I love my kitchen. I love all my appliances, but I have not cleaned. <laughs> I can't see the uh, the stove vent. I've never cleaned it. Let's take a look and see how disgusting it is. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Look at that. That's gross. So I've seen people recommend that you put that in the dishwasher. I don't want to do that to my dishwasher today. It's good, it's greasy, it's got a lot of stuff in it. I don't want to clog the dishwasher. You know, you know I, just, I just don't want to do that. So instead, we're gonna try a baking soda soak with hot water in the sink. Say a prayer. By the way, can we discuss how I'm totally like representing like YouTuber merch today? I've got my trainer tips shirt on, yes. And I've got my Vid Summit socks on. Check them out. Woo! Dare Leaves is on my feet, you guys. Fit Summit! I miss you guys already. Okay, and also shout out to the husband who cleaned all the dishes in the sink. Love you, babe. Thanks. When I left this morning, there was like, it was like full of dishes. Now, clean. Thank you, Eve. Thank you very much. So I'm gonna see how hot I can get the tap water. If not super hot, I'm gonna boil some water, which takes forever. Actually, the tap's getting pretty hot, so I'm gonna put a stopper in and fill this up. Put my stopper here. Yeah, that's good and hot. All right, we'll let that fill. All right, it's not as hot as I'd like it to be. I want it to be like really hot, like almost too hot for me to put my hands in here. Um, so I'm gonna boil some water, make sure it's really, really hot, and um, I'm gonna enjoy my banana. But you know who came as soon as I got my banana out? This friend. He cannot resist when I take a banana out and try to eat it. I know you want a piece, right? You want some of my banana? Hmm? There are worse things to do uh, while you're waiting for some water to boil. You want a piece? He can't have a lot of this because it's just so high in sugar, but he is, he's addicted to banana. Whoa, I got, I just got the strangest Pokemon Go notification. What? <laughs> you want some banana? Can you sit? Here you go. Roll over. Yay! Good job. Ooh, a piece fell on the floor. You want this? This too. Here you go. Here you go. Ew. Speak. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Why do you have to work up to it, buddy? Okay, that's it. That's all you get. No more nana. No more nana. Okay, my water is almost done boiling, but I'm gonna use also um, a pretty good swig of dish soap. I'm gonna grab this guy. This is my common good dish soap that I'm gonna review for you very soon, but I'm gonna give a pretty good few squirts of this. It's good. And I'm totally being arbitrary here, but I'm gonna use about a third of a cup of baking soda. Maybe a little more. There we go. Get that in there. I'm gonna add my super hot water, be careful. There we go, nice and hot. Then I'm gonna do a little swirly swirly with my brush because I don't wanna burn my hands. I'm gonna get this nice and soapy. Oh yeah, it smells nice too. It smells nice and fresh. And you know what, likely it's gonna clean my little brush too. <laughs> 
Although my brush might be a mess after this. Okay, nice and soapy. We'll add a touch more dish soap. Boom. I don't know why. Okay, let's go ahead and grab our dirty filter. All right, yucca doodles. So most filters just slide right out. Oh, greasy, disgusting mess. The back isn't so bad, but the bottom, blech. All right, in we go in our little hot solution of, let's see, how hot is it? It's pretty hot, of uh, soapy water with baking soda in there. And we're gonna let that hang out for about 10 minutes and uh, we'll see if we can get it clean when we come back. Just for funsies, we'll do the little owl thing. Isn't that fun? It's fun, right? Do, 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 do. 10 minutes on the clock. I'll put him right there. He's cute. I took some phone calls and I watched a Tati video. We are all set for the 10 minutes, so thank you, Owly. And it looks like there's some stuff like floating on top of the water, like fat and stuff. Um, so I'm gonna bring the camera in a little closer. And we're gonna give this a good scrubbing with a little more of the dish soap. Wow. Let's, let's, well, let's just move that around a little bit. <laughs> there we go. Oh wow, it's looking pretty good. Actually, I don't know if I have to really brush it a lot, but it's looking pretty darn good already. I probably should take my rings off, but oh well. <laughs> Does anyone else take their rings off when they wash the dishes or wash stuff? I take my rings off like all day long. I take them off when I take a shower. I take them off when I do my hair. I just don't like stuff getting in there. Actually, it looks pretty darn good. Let's give a little brush. With my dish brush here. The water's gross. So let's actually um, kind of go down. I'm gonna take some more dish soap, just a little squirt. And we're gonna give it a scrub. Be nice and gentle. Look how clean. Look how absolutely spotless this is. I am very impressed. Oh my goodness. So is Clover. He's also very impressed. Clover. <laughs> so I'm going to set this in the dish thing to dry and I'm gonna not put it back until it's dry, but I'm gonna give the hood just a little bit of a clean. So if you've ever been very scared of cleaning this, um, don't be because look how clean it got. I'm very impressed. For super greasy stuff, I like to um, use paper towels because it's really hard to get that greasy residue out of microfiber cloths. Um, so if it's like really, really greasy, I go ahead and use paper towel. Oh man. Do you guys see that? Look, look. Look, 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 look. <laughs> look, can you see how disgusting that is? Let me turn down some of this um, brightness. You guys can see the real thing. <laughs> Ew. It's like super, like, Discolored. Let me see if I can get some of that stuff off. Not that it really matters. Like honestly, let's be it. Let's be real. Does this stuff really matter? No. Oh wow. Oh snap. Okay. I mean, at the end of the day, this doesn't really matter. But it's. So satisfying that I just have to. You know what I mean? 
You guys, can you relate? It's just that satisfying. Oh my gosh, that got so clean. Well, I mean, it's not super clean, but it got cleaner. I put some cleaner on a toothpick because that's, that's what we're doing right now. <laughs> this is the level we're at right now. Is it gonna be bad to, oh wait, let's like clean a little bit up there too. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, satisfaction. When I want, I hate that it's not finished under here. That's so annoying. It's like just the melamine whoop, cut off there. Annoying. Okay, maybe this is a little bit extra, but maybe, maybe it's a little bit of, of hydrogen peroxide. Did it get in there? Yeah, it got in there. almost like we never cook here <laughs> but we do I cook here almost every night and I'm surprised it's not more dirty but um, it looks pretty clean right about now so I'm excited to get the filter dry and back in there so while I'm at it I might as well clean the microwave you know what I mean and to be totally honest with all of you the microwave actually is not that dirty there's just a couple of like little crumbsies and uh, stuff at the top where it exploded. So I'm just gonna give it a quick clean while I'm out here with the cleaner anyway. You know what I mean? Now the microwave I will hit with a little bit of microfiber cloth just because um, I don't like it to smell like cleaner when I put food back in here. It's just kind of weird. Um, so we're just gonna clean this up real quick with the microfiber cloth. It's actually working pretty well. So um, that's my thought on that. Just a quick tip, I totally forgot to do this while I was cleaning the microwave, so it's not dumb, so I'm gonna tell you because I forgot, is to, when you clean the microwave, clean the ceiling of the microwave first, because everything from the ceiling is gonna like snow and sprinkle down to the bottom of the microwave. So that is what you should clean last. I, like a dummy, clean the bottom of the microwave first. So I ended up doing everything twice, it's so dumb, so don't, don't forget like I did. All right, a quick wash and dry in the sink with this little microwave bowl thing. Bowl? It's not a bowl, it's a, it's a spinny plate. Uh, that's the technical term, is the spinny plate. Um, and uh, we are good to go, all clean. And now, since things have rained down onto my range top, I need to clean that too. And uh, the whole time I was wondering, I was like, why does it smell like pumpkin spice? Ew, it smells like pumpkin spice. And the truth is, I made pumpkin spice coffee this morning and it's still in the coffee maker. I might heat some up, have some later. Good, I like pumpkin spice, I'm basic like that. All right, we're pretty spick and span here. I'm feeling a lot better about my kitchen right now everything's clean and I've got my hood filter sort of drying right there so as soon as that's dry I'm gonna put it back in place and it'll be like we never lived here so I'm gonna have a little bit of lunch and then I've got to get to an appointment and uh, we will chat uh, maybe in the car coming back in from an appointment I was gonna say something totally different um, but let's talk when I get inside Oh, hey, 
Hello. Hello. Hi. How have you been? How have you been, been? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You're not affectionate at all. Not at all. No, you don't need any love. You so cold hearted, Clover. <laughs> so cold hearted. Now what I was gonna say is that <laughs> is that um I have been sort of trying to reevaluate what is worth doing and what is not worth doing in my professional life. If you're going to your work and you are like angry on the way there <laughs> And while you're doing it, you say, oh, I hate this. Um, instead of just sort of sitting in that feeling and not doing anything, I want you to lean into that a little bit and take that time to really feel that, lean into it, and let that be a catalyst for change for you. Most of us are gonna live less than 100 years here on Earth. A little longer now that it's like, the healthcare is a little better now, but let's say like we live like 80, 90 years. Do you want to spend most of that working time as an adult having that feeling, that feeling of like when you go to work, you go, Ugh. lean into that, go with that. Let that be a lesson to you. Let that be a message to you that you must change something. And take opportunities as they arise. If there's an opportunity there and you feel like it's gonna benefit your life and you're afraid, go ahead and take it anyway. Do something that makes you uncomfortable. Do something that makes you scared. If you don't do the things that scare you now, you're gonna regret not doing them later. Totally. Okay, that was my pep talk. I hope you guys enjoyed today's random video of me cleaning the uh, stove vent. I hope that you guys, if you guys have been scared of doing that, you do that now. It's not scary, you can get it clean. Living proof. All right, I'm gonna let Clover be your end screen today. If you guys liked today's video and you wanna watch something more like it, click that video right there and watch the next one. That would really be, that would be the best thing you can do. And if you guys like content like this, so subscribe. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.